All right, welcome everyone. We have amazing Ted from sunny Florida. Yes, everyone say hello to Ted. Ted, you are in a very unusual business. Like most people don't know about it. And I'm sure many people believe will believe the type of returns your students have generated over the decades. I believe you are in this for more than almost three decades, right? That's right. Can you please That's tell right. our audience, our students, a little bit more about this business, how it works, and how you got into it? And then well, also I'll ask you questions I have. I have a lot of oh, questions laid out here. Good. That's great. That's yes, great. I got a lot of questions for you, Ted. All right. Well, good. I'm, I'm glad to be here and glad, good to see you again. It's been a while. And uh, sorry that you got a cold, but I hope you're going to be feeling better. So, um, um, well, first of all, you know, you asked me about the 30 years. I have been involved in tax defaulted property and tax lien certificates for 30 years. And so let me tell all your audience, most of your people are probably from Canada. And so I do a ton of business in, in the Canadian provinces. And here's how it all works. It's the same system in Canada as in the United States, except in Canada, they don't pay any money, but in the States, they pay a lot of money. So your guys want to make a lot of money. You already told me that. So I'm going to show them how to do that today. We're going to do about four videos together. And this is really a hell of an education, that's for sure. So uh, here's how it works in the States, folks. If people buy a property, which we all want to have a property because real estate goes up. So we want to buy a good investment. So we buy real estate. And sure enough, the local county, local state, they're going to have us pay a property tax. So every property has to pay a tax. Well, you know, everybody doesn't pay the bills. They have trouble. You know, sometimes they have, you know, they have a baby and the insurance didn't go, or the car got wrecked or something. They didn't pay their property tax. So if they don't pay their property tax, what happens is their local state government, they, they will actually tell that person, if you don't pay the tax, we're either going to sell a tax lien certificate or we're going to confiscate the property. Now, your clients are going to love this because in the States, if, the, if they buy, and Canadians can do it online, we'll teach them how to do it, okay, they can buy a tax lien in the States and they could earn 16% here in Florida. They could earn 18% no, here in Florida. They could earn 24% if they bought over one in Iowa. So you're getting the idea. If they go to Georgia, they can earn 20%. So that's a return. So they actually invest with the government and then they get a check back from the government. Now, here's what the investment is. It's predictable, it's certain, and it's secure. So everything I'm going to tell people today and on these four videos we're going to do, it's a secure investment. We have at least at least 1,000 Canadian clients in the different provinces. So that gives you some idea of what I do. I've been doing it for 30 years. Imagine the same business for 30 years. It's amazing, amazing. So, Ted, can you tell our audience more about a little bit more about tax defaulted properties. How does the de tax default properties work? Okay, well, tax lien certificates are nothing more, so I can tell you both. When the person doesn't pay the tax, the government issues a certificate looks just like this. It's just a piece of paper, looks like a certificate, okay? So if people don't okay. pay their tax, okay, they're gonna issue this. You and I can buy that. So that's a business we can make money with, okay? Now I'm gonna tell you about tax default property. So the other side of that is half of the states sell tax lien certificates. The other half of the states are going to sell tax deeds. Now, tax deeds simply means this. If someone doesn't pay their tax, the local government's going to send them a notice and say, you have to pay your tax. That's called a notice of default, just like if you don't pay your credit card. All right, you didn't pay the send about three of those. Then if they don't pay the tax, the government, the government, the local government, the county, now you call it a municipality, but the county confiscates the property. They take it away from them. They take the property away and they issue a tax deed. All right, then what are they going to do then? Then they sell the property at auction. They sell the property for the back taxes, not for the value of the property, but just for the back taxes. So they sell the tax to all the property for 10, 20, 30 cents on the dollar. And you and I can buy those. So I made a business of teaching people how to do that because all the states have different rules. And so your people uh, that are in Toronto, if they're around Toronto, they're going to go right across the border and they can buy in Michigan. Or they can go down and turn left and go to New York, turn right to go to Michigan, and guess what? So if you can make it to Mississauga, you can make it the rest of the way to get to the border, turn left for New York and go right to Michigan. And in New York, you can buy tax to fall the property. Now, I know you're not going to believe this, but I'll show them on a third video. I'm going to show people this. They buy property. I buy properties in New York. I'm in Florida. 
I buy them online in New York, okay? We buy properties, big colonial houses on five acres. On five acres, we're buying for 30 cents, 40 cents on the dollar. Nice. Listen to this. No mortgage, no deed of trust. Nice. Nice, right. huh? And so yeah. people doing this all, I'm gonna show you a, a bunch of people doing that. When you see these people doing it, I'm actually gonna show you videos before we finish. You'll see this, you Ted, I don't believe it. I'm gonna show you people from Toronto. I'm gonna show you people from Alberta. I'm gonna show you people from British Columbia buying in the United States and they're sitting on their rusty dusty in the Canadian provinces. What do you think of that? Awesome, awesome. So Ted, I just I heard you say this about this can be done from the comfort of your home online, correct? Online. So you I don't have a keyboard here on my desk. If you get a keyboard and you know how to use it, you can use the internet. Every auction now in the United States is online. Now, some of them, they do online and offline. So you, you can go to either. If you want to go to the auction, I'd like to go to the auction. It's action. You know, it's a lot of action. You know, but it, online, man. it's kind of it's slow. And, yeah, yeah, I like the action. So plus, you can see what other bidders are doing. You know, sometimes I say, that guy looks a little timid. I bid the bid up, right? I bid it up on him, you know? And that guy's really spending a lot of money. It's, ooh, I better slow down. I don't want to spend my money, right? You know, so you can do both, but online... You can do it. You can do every auction online now. So I have clients yeah. in, and I'll show you a little later on. I have clients that they're sitting in Regina. Who ever heard of Regina, right? Regina, Saskatchewan, and they're buying in Riverside County. That's right next to Los Angeles. Wow, amazing. So Ted, uh, it's great to uh, you telling about people uh, Canadian Canadians investing in this uh, system in this business. Yeah. So I was just curious: is the government taking someone's home? Away from them? Is, is it true? Well, with tax lien certificates, they don't take the property. They just say, when they issue this tax lien certificate, I buy it. I just get the piece of paper. I don't get the property. I just get a piece of paper that says I can make 18% in Florida. Okay, that's what I get. I don't get anything else. Now, if the guy doesn't pay, the property owner doesn't pay, well, then, then, the, 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 then, then I get the property. But that takes, they give them two years to pay. In Florida, in other states, they give them three years to pay. So they don't throw them out. Now, when they confiscate, like in Michigan and New York, they tell them, they send them notice, notice, notice. And then if they don't pay, then they say, all right, you're going to have to move out of the house. They send the sheriff, they tell them to move out, and they take the property. Fine. Okay. Thanks for the but every state that. has a different rule. The reason we have to teach it is because every state... Like, if you learn how to buy in New York, that's going to be different in California. And that's going to be different in Florida. It's different in Tennessee. In Tennessee, you can even buy using a credit card. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Great to see this. So, uh, which brings me to my next question, Ted. So, can our uh, audience watching this, can some like someone make 20000 25000 even 30000 in one deal, is it possible to make that much money or or you'd say, no, it's not possible? Is it possible? Well, no, um, uh, actually, I've been teaching this for 30 years and I yes. teach people, we're not going to do any deal. We're going to teach you only to make 25,000, 50,000, 100,000. We don't do any small deals. So I'm going to show nice. you an example. Uh, and I'm going to show you a little video now, but this couple in Phoenix, Arizona, they went to the auction. I taught them how to do it. And they went to and they bought a tax lien certificate. Now in Arizona, when you buy one of these certificates, it pays up to 16%. Okay, so they bought the certificate and then the people didn't come in and pay the tax one year. So they paid the tax a second year. Then they paid a third mm -hmm. year. So they kept paying the tax, but the people never showed up and paid the tax. So because they didn't pay, this is a secure investment. I mean, secure. So when you buy one of these certificates, you either get your money or you get the property. And these people got the property. So hold on just a second, and we're going to show you the video, and the guys are going to tell you what they did with the property. Watch this. This is life-changing. This is something that really is something you can do 10 to 12 hours a week. You can do maybe even less than that, depending on your knowledge of that particular market or that system. This is an opportunity where you can earn more than you would at a job 
in a matter of days, in a matter of weeks. There's not that demand for you to fit societal um, pressures of getting dressed in the morning and, and making yourself up. I mean, it's it sounds silly, but it's a lot of work for women to have to also put on makeup and have to wear a certain outfit. You know, this is stuff you can do from your pajamas if you want. It's a lot easier than you think. It's not, it's not so scary once you know, okay, you can just ask these questions. And yeah. we turned to Ted, we turned to um, all his education, we turned to the coaching staff to get the questions we have answered because they're experts. This particular property was a very nice property and in our opinion, nice enough to actually live in. We for were in 11. it total for 11,000. Both of those. And we rented That's that like at 1225 for 15 months. Mm -hmm. Yep. So we collected all the money back from our initial investment and more. And more. Um, and then after holding it as a rental for some time, then we decided, okay, the property is um, appreciating so quickly. Yeah. That Phoenix was, was really hot. We ended up selling the property and the sales price was? Uh, we had a contracted sales price of 184000 and 169000 hit our bank account. Okay, now there you have it. That couple spent $11,000 buying the certificate. And the people didn't come in and pay the tax, so they got a beautiful condo on the lake. You saw the picture of it. Beautiful condo on the lake. They sold it. They got $169,000. For every dollar they invested, they got the dollar back plus $17. Wow, $169,000 on one deal. Thank you for showing the video, uh, Ted. I mean, uh, this is this is great. So this brings me to my next question: Can the little guy sitting here in Canada get started with just five hundred dollars to his name? Like someone has only five hundred dollars, they wanna use. I, I gotta be honest. I gotta be honest with you. The answer is yes. The answer is this: You could buy one of these certificates, like I showed you, for five hundred dollars. But what if you made 20% on your 5,000, how much did you make? You made a hundred bucks. I don't teach people to make a hundred bucks. I teach them to make the big dollars. I'm gonna teach you to yes. make 25 and 50,000. But let me show you this. I'm gonna show you another video. This guy's in Alabama. Okay, and he called me up, he's a newspaper reporter. He called me up on the phone, he said, look, I'm reading this stuff in the newspaper. Can I, can I get out and buy one of these houses at the auction? I said, yeah, just go right down there when they, when they put it on the auction list, you can buy it. So he called me back a short time later. He said, well, I went down there. I said, yeah, well, what happened? He said, well, they had, they had, a, they had a house they wanted to auction. I said, well, what was it? He said, it was a two bedroom, one bath. He said, it was in a nice little lot. It had some nice fruit trees and everything. Just a little average house. I said, what does he think it was worth? He said, maybe 50 or 70,000. I said, well, did you buy it? He said, no, no. I said, I don't believe it. I don't believe this. I said, did somebody buy it? He said, no, nobody bought it. I said, wait a minute. What was the minimum bid? He said, well, the minimum bid was the back taxes. Well, folks, if you didn't know it, a $50,000 house will have $500 taxes due. 1%. 1% would all it would be. I said, you're going to tell me you didn't buy that house and you could get it for 500? He said, he said, well, no, I didn't get it. I said, why don't you go down and see if it's still for sale? So he went back. He bought a house for $336. I'm going to show you the picture of it here in just a minute. He called me up afterwards. He said, I got the house. He said, what should I do? I said, how do I know? I'm in Florida and you're in Alabama. And he said, well, what should I do? I said, sell it. He said, I don't sell stuff. I want to buy stuff. I said, well, what else are you going to do? He said, I said, why don't you rent it? He said, how much should I rent it for? I said, I'm in Florida. I don't know what the rent is. So he went around the neighborhood and he asked. He went around the neighborhood and asked questions. Everybody said, rent it for $750. He bought it for $336. Wow. So this kid came to the house. Kid came to the house. He just got married. And someone gave him a $5,000 check when he got married. He said, if I give you the $5,000, can I rent this house for a whole year? The guy said, yes. He took the $5,000. He bought it for $300 and he sold it for got $5,000. And he still has the house. 
Yes. Wow. What a what a return on his investment. Amazing. But I'm going to tell you, I would never teach you to do that. I would teach you, let's get some decent sized houses where we can make 25, 50. We don't have time to be messing around with that kind of little stuff. Now, if that was in your backyard, you'd want to do that. But but you got the idea. Just making sense? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Well, look, you know what's happening? We run out of time on this video. Why don't we do this? Yes. Folks, uh, we're gonna yes. do we're gonna do three more videos. But those of you that are interested, what I do is I teach a long class, a six hour class about this. If you're learning a lot and you like what you're learning, I teach a six hour class about this twice a month and you guys can register. Now look, I'm not an internet marketer, I'm not, okay? I'm just a teacher and I get 47 bucks for my class, okay? So I'm gonna tell you right now, you can go below me, just go below me. You can register for the class, costs 47 bucks. Every two weeks I have it, you can just register there, pay you 47 bucks. But you know, don't do that yet. We're gonna come back and do another video. We're gonna do three more of these videos. So you'll learn a lot. We're into education, okay? We'd love to have you. I don't have anything to pitch here. I'm not gonna sell you anything. I'm just gonna tell you, you're gonna go to my $47 class. So I'm not gonna sell you some books and tapes and all that stuff. And then you're just gonna learn for the next three lessons. And that's why Renee asked me to come and help you with this stuff. Once you learn how to do this, you can do it for the rest of your life. It doesn't matter whether you're in Canada or you're in Fiji or you're in, I have clients in Mexico City. I got them in London, England. I got them in Singapore. I got them in Japan. I have them all over the world. Anybody that got a computer can buy tax liens as long as you got American dollars. You can just have to have US dollars or a US credit card to be able to do this. So we'll be back and we'll see you in the next video. I'm Ted Thomas. That's great. We'll see you guys in part two.